Okay, guys, good morning, Friday morning, 9.04 a.m. So, are we all good? Looking forward to the weekend. Let's get started with what we always do, which is the US 100. So, yesterday was a little bit of a weird day, weird price action. We didn't get any entry until late, which is 1800. 1800 is really, really late. Normally, when we do get something at 1800, it usually comes back. And I don't like holding trades overnight anyway. So, you know, I would have probably exited here at 2100. Again, that's quite late. I would like to be out at 1800. So that was a no trade for me. But today we have a potential for a decent trade if we get a touch of this level again which is the daily close. Again, you can just get the indicator out, go on daily close. Boom. You don't want to stray too far from the daily cut, from the daily close. If it goes, one second, daily close, and that one red as well. So right now, if we got a bullish engulfing break in this level, it would be a little bit too far above. So what I would like is a move down and then a move up. If price is more than 100 pips above the open, and then more than likely I'm really not going to trade it. So the reason why is because we usually have it, if it's a really, really good day, usually have a range of around 300 pips for the day. So 200 to 300 if it's a really, really good day. So if we look at these really good days here, they should be around about 200 to 300 pips. So we've got 100 and... So we've got 200 there. That one's about 200. And a really, really good day like this one here, this uh, Thursday, the 1st of Feb, was... More than 300. But usually a decent day is roughly around about 200 to 300. Obviously, that's kind of a freakish day. And we're probably not going to get that on a day that we haven't got some major, major news. So, if it's too far above, I don't trade it. So, I'll be looking for a move down to the daily. Close. And then I move to the upside. I don't expect miracles because it is a Friday. We do have Michigan consumer sentiment. So possibly something like this. Close the week. Because obviously this is going to be the end of the weekly. So potentially to close above here. To close something. Like this. One second. We do have a decent pin bar. It's not a huge bullish move. But I expect the weekly candle to look something like this. So just a little move up. I don't really expect it to look something like that. Are we really going to move all the way up to one eight three hundred? No, not really. Would be a very, very drastic move. I don't really expect anything like that unless we've got like non farm payroll, but we only have Michigan consumer sentiment, which is every other Friday. So today, what do we have? Just like I said, we've got, we've got building permits, PPI month on month, and then the Michigan consumer sentiment. The Michigan consumer sentiment is what's going to set the tone. Back testing this, usually we do have a good move on the Michigan consumer sentiment. If we get a move during building permits, usually this will take it out. So if we do get a move to the upside with the building permits, usually Michigan will take it out. So we need to be very, very cautious of that. So looking for a move to the upside on US 100. US 30 probably going to be the same setup here.
That moved pretty clean yesterday. Very clean. Shame we didn't get that on US 100. So the daily close is here. Unlike US 100, it hasn't moved above. So anything breaking the daily close will be good in my book for a long Where's it possibly going to go to? We can get the measure tool because this is the daily close. Oh, about 200. It's a really good day, 300. So probably something like that. We can probably have the SL just below here. 200 is a decent target. And that will be my trade today. If it breaks the daily close, simple as that. Let's go to gold. Let's see if gold's going to move to the downside today. Let's see what it's doing. Okay, we can get rid of this now. Daily line. Okay, so on, on the daily, well, what have we got? Classic break, exhaustion, and then potential continued move to the downside. What are the fundamentals saying? Gold is stronger, short term. Gold is... Uh, duh, 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 where's gold? Gold's a minus 0 0.9, medium term. USD is positive 0 0.8. Long term, gold is minus 0 0.4, USD is minus 0 0.4. So, short term to the upside, medium term downside, long term, pretty much the same, which is not great. It does look bearish, technically. So, all we're really waiting for, bearish engulfing. Then we can place a trade. Stop loss will be just above here. TP will be at the daily zone. Obviously, we need fundamentals to be to the downside short term. So gold would have to be like a minus 1.6, minus 2.6. USD would have to be like a positive 3, positive 4 in order for me to place this. Fridays don't usually drop this much. So again, fundamentals would have to be pretty much in the USD's favor in order for me to trade this. I'm going to try to gain see yen now. So that did work out. So your trade would have been on would have been yesterday, 1400 if you did get in. Take some profits, move your stop loss to entry. There is no There is no other trade here. I mean, even if you did, it'd be a little bit risky. So if you didn't get that, I did say on, on the live, you can buy it. So if you did get in, congrats. If you didn't, it doesn't matter, man doesn't matter there's always going to be another trade so let's go to the let's go to bitcoin let's see what this is saying daily yeah it's looking like it's seen the end of the buy pressure we've got a pin bar first pin bar after all this bullishness i'm just move that I think that's right. So if we do get some exhaustion to the 50,000 level, then I'll be looking there. Or oh, a buy, just add an alert there. Awesome. So yeah, if we touch the 50,000 level, then I'll be looking for a buy on Bitcoin. Right now, it's way too extended for me. Take a look at goes one against USD. This is moving a little bit weird. Okay, so we're still in a downtrend. Broke this level, full and complete exhaustion to it. What's fundamental saying? Fundamental saying the bearish pound weaker, medium term, it's uh, weaker, long term. 
stronger a little bit. Only by a little bit, so. Thing is, though, don't like it, that. We've kind of got a little uptrend here. Doesn't really fill me with confidence. That we've moved up. Even though we've seen cell pressure here, could just move to the upside. So to be honest, wouldn't really touch this now. In fact, do you know what? If it breaks this level, I'd probably say it's quite safe for a sell. To the daily. So if it does break with quite some significance, and the Great British Pound is still weaker, it would have to be a little bit more weaker. I don't like it when they're next to each other like this. So if it was like CAD and like gold strength, then yeah, okay, fair enough. But not when it's kind of just next to each other. So yeah, wait for it to break this level of support, then you can place a sell. Euro USD. Last one, if you want to go for anything, let me know right in the comments. So it seems as though I've seen buyer pressure come in. Nice level of sell pressure here again, probably the top. The euro is stronger than, than the USD right now, medium term weaker. Long term weaker, obviously, because we're in a downtrend. I think this looks pretty good for a double top here. I don't think it'll do it today, though. If you look on the day, it's only had one day of the move to the upside. Usually we get pin bars. It's like a couple pin bars and then and then the move to the downside. We don't just see bullish bearish. That's quite rare. So I would say this has to consolidate today. Monday, Tuesday, move to the downside. So it's something like this. Just like we got previously. So we don't just get just one day of like bullishness, one day of bearishness. It like dances around and then finally it moves down come back it's filled the gap from the core inflation rate which is good so so as you can see here it's probably going to be monday decent trade though to wait for so yeah that's it guys that is the Leicester show for me personally i only trade the us 100 and gold I'll be waiting for this to come back down. If it does, then I'll be looking for a long at this level. Gold. Obviously, you already know what I'm looking for. Bearish and gold and candle moves to the downside. Simple as that. Does anyone want to go for anything? If not, then I'll just thank you all for coming here. Hope you all learned something. Thank you, Tobis, Hambo, Etch. Uh, AZ, Alex, and there's a few Zoom users, but I don't know who you are. So yeah, thank you guys for coming. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you at 2.30. And yeah, take care, guys. Have a great weekend. See you later, Etch. Bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye.